Well, it's been quite a few years now since you started campaigning. Have yeah. things improved? Sure. Um, people know that gaijin is not a nice word. People are not really using it. You're not getting kids pointing at you and going gaijin, and if you do that, you just say, would you please stop that? And generally, the, the adults will intervene and say, don't do that. You're able to say in schools, for example, that gaijin should become an unword. It happened in my school, and it's in the middle of the Hokkaido countryside with my students. Um, you're getting people that are ex accepting people like me as citizens. I mean, look, uh, most of the people that say I'm not really Japanese are the non-Japanese. They don't believe that Japan could ever be open-minded enough to accept a person like me. Whereas the politicians themselves keep on saying, well, if you want more rights in the society, naturalize. And um, no politician, and I've talked to quite a few, has actually come out and said, well, you shouldn't have naturalized because you're not really one of us sort of thing. The number of people that have actually said to me that you're not really Japanese after I told them I'm naturalized, I think at this point, at this day and time, I think it's eight or nine. You know, there was wow. one a year. Wow. I naturalized in 2000. Yeah. That's a pretty good ratio, yeah. right? I might, some people will say, well, maybe they're just thinking it, but they're not saying it. Yeah. But Japan's remarkably frank when talking about your marital status and weight, for example. Oh, tottane. It's like, you know, things just like that, you know, especially when you're in a beer conversation. But um, these sorts of things are showing that um, Japan is getting better. Now, right now, to be honest with you, I'm in a bit of a funk. Because uh, as of April 1st, when they offered the Nikkei repatriation bribe, you know, 30 mon mm -hmm. plus 20 mon per dependent, if you just bugger off and get out of our society. Um, and they're not offering it to, like, for example, the Chinese trainees, you know, because they don't have the right blood. I, I'm doing a lot of research on migration in Japan, and I'm finding it to be a dismal science at the moment. I'm writing my regular Japan Times columns, but I'm not able to do my regular academic work as productively right now because, you know, Right now, for the next few years, I think the population of, of, of non-Japanese might in fact go down. Registered, that is. However, I think the people that are taking out permanent residency is going to continue to go up. You know, between 2002 and 2007, on the, um, 2006, excuse me, the, um, the, the rate of increase for all um, people that got, you know, age you can, you know, regular permanent residency, went up by 15% a year on average. 15%. Imagine getting a 15% interest rate on your loan, on your, on, your, on your account, your money would double in you know, less than 10 years. So it, that's sort of statistic. Finally, the regular permanent residents have overtaken the special permanent residents, in other words, the Zionists. That is a sea change in how um, non-Japanese are, are going to be perceived because eventually you're going to, you're going to be able to claim with, all, um, with, with everybody watching that, look, the newcomers are outnumbering the old comers and have done so for quite some time. And this isn't just like a one or three year visa type of thing. This is permanent residency. So you're actually going to see people that you can't make to leave um, stay here longer and become, and become more in number. You're already seeing people in Tokyo um, talk you go to any convenience store, you'll probably see a Chinese waiting on you. The, wait, the waitress in my, in my um, um, restaurant in Gotanda was a person that looked Filipi probably Filipina, not sure, of course, I didn't ask her, it'd be rude, but she had a kanji name tag on. I think she's married to a Japanese. These are all things that are showing that Japan is, is changing despite the best efforts of the conservatives um, and the, and the um, bureaucrats that would just as soon keep Japan pristine and the labor, um, the non-Japanese labor um, force door revolving, you know, come in, stay a couple of years, now get out sort of thing, and we'll bribe you to go back to sort of thing. Instead of Metropolis, you know, give me a column if you like um, over there, um, Terry, but um, it says in there that the Japanese government has actually um, said that for people that take the Nikkei repatriation bribe, they used to say you couldn't come back for 10 years and you wouldn't be able to come back in the same status. They've now shortened it down to three years and um, they can come back. And that doesn't make it clear about the visa status, but in any case, that's a compromise because of all the pressure that's been happening. And um, we are finally have the Japanese government saying there are ethnic minorities, well, one anyway, the Ainu, in Japan. We're finally having um, people saying that, you know, even the um, non-Japanese residents should get the, you know, Ichiman Nisei and um, 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 Kyufukin thing that would only be given to citizens once upon a time.
those are all acknowledgments that um, non-Japanese are over here to stay, or at least over here um, deserving of equal benefits as taxpayers. Now, it's very definitely imperfect, and I think um, with people like um, Governor Ishihara in there trying to focus on foreigners as purveyors of crime and possible terrorists, and um, immigration handling um, the lack of an immigration policy over here, you know, but basically policing foreigners as opposed to try to find the way to make their life more comfortable, that needs improvement and how and quickly. Um, but for the time being, um, we're in a phase where people are saying, well, we really would rather foreigners didn't um, pump up our unemployment statistics, so could you please leave? You know, when economic opportunism comes around again and Japan wants cheap um, labor for their factories, then we're going to see um, people saying, okay, all is forgiven, come back, wait and see. But um, can't help it. Japan's demography is saying that, you know, Japan will go extinct by the year 3000, I just saw yesterday. So um, you can't help but say that foreigners, no matter what, are going to be a part of Japan's future. You cannot, this is not, um, this is not a hermetically sealed society. And um, people are going to want to come here to live, and the government will want to continue to p encourage people here to live. <laughs>